Hello everyone, Robbie from Saskatchewan here. Gonna try my hand at another uh, style of pouring that I have seen on YouTube. It's Anna Marie Ritterhoff from Holland, once again. So many talented people over in the Netherlands. The uh, She's done a really amazing thing that I was fascinated by. It is a bottle cap pour. So basically she takes caps and she assembles her paint in a very amazing fashion and she stylizes the board with that. So why don't we give that a whirl and see what happens. This time I'm going to throw myself a little twist. I'm going to use blue. Whoops, you can't see it properly if I do that. Blue. Orange. Look at that. Orange for Holland. And some yellow. And of course I'm going to stick in a little bit of white because that's what we do. So I am going to start off by putting just a wee little bit of white in each bottle cap. Now remember, whatever you put on the bottom of the bottle cap will be at the top. So you're layering and opposite, okay? So that is the one thing you want to remember is you are layering opposite. And yes, I do realize that I have not edited any of the videos that I have on my channel. I just found out how to do that today, but I don't think I'm going to start doing that until I actually have a computer that works at home. Right now I don't have one for my own use for this, so I won't. You guys are just going to have to fast forward through things you don't enjoy. I think I'm going to do another extra little drop of blue. And then I am going to, I was not sure if I should do a drop of black or not. I'm not sure what that would do. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to throw a little bit of black in there. gonna do it. I'm gonna put one drop of black on here. The worst that can happen is it I don't like it and I scrape it off. I'm going to throw just a little bit more orange on here. And then one more little dollop of yellow and I think that should be enough what do you guys think are you as nervous as I am <laughs> I am so nervous right now I do not know how any of this is going to turn out and the nice thing about art is it's subjective so whatever you like is what you like whatever you do is what you do so I am going to do, I'm going to start here, and I think I'm going to pull down on the canvas. So we'll just give it a minute for the paint to go down, as you can see it's going down. And I'm sorry about the shadows, I don't have an extra light set up yet. This is what it is. So yeah, when you're um, when you're mixing your colors, um, try and keep the color wheel in mind. Certain colors don't go together, and then I I don't always follow those rules, and I've made some really horrible mistakes. And sometimes I found some really wonderful, wonderful uh, little errors. And yes, I uh, I need to get this on a different stance so it doesn't wiggle so much. Sorry about that people. 
I am just learning and it's a bad setup. Wow, look at that. Do you see those colors? Wow, that is just I kind of am in love with that. Holy smokes. Isn't that awesome? Just look at those colors and those cells coming out. That is so awesome. Who knew? I certainly didn't. I am definitely loving that. Now the reason I'm adding extra white down here is so that when I am letting the art of the paint move, I don't want it to roll over top of itself quite so much. I just want it to be able to stretch and travel. And that is why I'm doing that. Once again, torching, pop any little bubbles that is in the paint. And wow, look at that. That is just awesomeness. One thing um, I was told about stretching is that I, I don't want to over rush. So you, you want to just take your time when you're tilting. And if you're trying to keep the cells to keep, keep their shape, just let them go back a little bit before you tilt again. This is kind of the fun part. It's, it's very soothing. You have to have some patience, but just watch what happens with these cells as they're going. Isn't that cool? Now, once again, not every style is for every person. And uh, this is just, this isn't a, a piece that will be being put out to be sold. It's not a piece that uh, was anything but for experimentation and, and playing so that everybody can enjoy it. Um, if you do see a piece that you guys like that I've worked on, um, send me a message, let me know. Everything is always negotiable, as they say. Wow, look at those colors. That is just fantastic. I am impressed with this experiment. I have learned a lot just watching myself do this one. Um, don't like that it's gonna come off. Don't like that, it's coming off. Don't like that, it's coming off. That's the nice thing about uh, this style. If you make a mistake, sometimes you can actually do a little bit of mini repair here and there and hide it so that it's not always visible. But sometimes those mistakes that happen, they're just a piece of the artwork and they're pretty awesome. But because this is just for me, myself and I, I will get that out of the way and just fix that up a little bit. And we'll just give that a little tilt just to smooth it out a little bit. So yeah, that is uh, today's little experiment with bottle cap pour. 
I hope you guys had some uh, enjoyment out of this. I know I did. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye.